Good evening, Herbert. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, good. Great, great, great. How was your day? Repeat. <laughs> How was your day? How was your day? Mm -hmm. my, my name is Ever. Oh, no. How was your day? Which means, ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Tengo problemas aquí, casi no lo escucho, teacher. No problem, let's see here. Good evening, David. Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. How are you, David? Very good. Great, excellent. How was your day? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Adam. Good evening, Magdalena. Great, excellent. So, well, everybody, we are going to start right now. Okay, so uh, welcome, right, to Friday's class. All right, thank you for joining the class on time. I truly appreciate your punctuality and responsibility, right? So, let's just start right now with the first activity tonight. Okay, also want to say good evening to Ever and um, who else has joined the class? That's it, right? Okay, so let's see here. All right, let's see this one. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, okay, so let's see here. Very good, excellent. So do you see the new screen, the new tongue twister? Yes, do you see it? Yes. Excellent. So this is a new tongue twister. So a new activity that I have for you to practice your pronunciation, right? Your pronunciation in uh, final sounds here. All right. So I am going to repeat it for you first, right? And then you guys um, repeat it later, right? So practice it. So it says right here, please repeat here. How much would could a would chuck chuck if a would chuck could chuck would all right so that's how you will say it here all right so take a look at this one this is going to be like how you know how how much would how much would uh -huh. could could all right ah uh, ah uh, would chuck would chuck would chuck would chuck chuck uh huh would chuck chuck ah uh, would chuck chuck if ah uh, 
if a woodchuck, woodchuck. All right if a woodchuck could could chuck wood chuck wood chuck wood there you go excellent so in the in the blue letters i try to um you know show you the pronunciation right so something similar or you know the closest thing to the pronunciation there all right and it says there how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood all right so one more time listen how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood one more time pay attention pay attention how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood excellent so well now everybody i will give you right now two minutes two minutes to practice the tongue twister after the two minutes i am going to select some volunteers all right thank you how much how much good all right practice practice you still have one minute all right so continue 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 remember you have two minutes to practice right do you have a question magdalena all right one more minute one more minute one more minute how much, how much good cool uh will chuck chuck if i will chuck cool chuck wood. there you go excellent continue you still have time for practicing yes 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 how much how cool how chuck show chuck how chuck cool chuck cool All right, all right, all right, all right. So time's up, everybody. Now let's see. Do I have a volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer. Who's gonna be my volunteer? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Magdalena. Go ahead. We wanna hear you, my friend. Please. Hello, Magdalena. We cannot hear you. Well, another volunteer, please. Thank you very much, Carlos. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. How much good cool? I good chuck chuck. If I good chuck, cool chuck good. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Good job, Carlos. Thank you. Next volunteer. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see. Come on, volunteers. Let's work on that. Uh -huh. Who's going to be that one? Enrique. Okay. Thank you, Enrique. Good, much good, cool, a uh, good, chup, chup, it, a uh, good, chup, cool, chup, good. Thank you. Thank you for trying. All right. It's really appreciated. Good job. All right. Anybody else? Another volunteer? Thank you, Wilbur. Go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, how much good cool and good chup 
chuk and if a good chuk cool feels good. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So now who's my next volunteer? Enrique. All right. And then Adan. All right. Very good. Enrique, go ahead. Enrique, the microphone. Ya lo dije, pero lo voy a repetir, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. My, my, my boy, my boy. Hoy much good, cool, a good chup, chup, if a good chup, cool, chup, good. Good talk with, all right? So thank you, thank you, appreciate it, all right? So now, Adam. All right. Okay. Yao much good, 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 good. A good chuck chuck is a good chuck cool chuck good. Okay, good. now remember, remember this uh, blue letters that you can see here. It's like you have to read it like if you were reading in Spanish. So there's gonna be like how much would could how? would chuck chuck like you know like if you were reading that in Spanish. All right. So try one more time, Adam, please. How much would could uh would chop chop if uh would chop would chop would excellent that's way better good job all right thank you I can see it again who else all right so do we have any other volunteer yes no more volunteers Herbert it says here Herbert here are Herbert go ahead. How much would could would chop chop would chop chop would? There you go. Okay, no, hizo falta una línea. I guess you were missing one line there. How much would would a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? Uh huh. One more how, time, Herbert. One more time. How much would could uh would chop chop would chop could Chuck Ud. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So I can see Magdalena wants to try again. All right, Magdalena, let's try again. We cannot hear you, Magdalena. There is a problem with the microphone, maybe. Well, we'll try later. No problem. Okay, thank you everybody for participating. I really appreciate that, right? So that was actually a really good activity. All right, so now let's see what it's going to be, uh, you know, the class about today. Well, we are going to start in a moment, but first I want you to let's go to the review, all right? So we can see exactly what happened, right? Yesterday, which we were studying the simple past, of course, right? And in the simple past, we have right here this one. So we have, as you can see here, all right, so it says positive, negative, and question, right? So what are we going to do? Very simple, right? So if you have the positive sentence right here, for example, Jane was tired, then the same sentence right here, you know, exactly the same sentence, it's going to be here in negative and in question. So for example, let's see, how will you uh, choose this one right here? That the negative, Jane was tired. Negative, what will be? Mm -hmm. Yes. Jane wasn't tired. There you go, Jane wasn't tired. Very good, excellent. And as a question, Yes, as a question. Mm -hmm. Remember the structure? So what is gonna be first here in a question? Hello, hello? Hello? What is the uh, question structure? What's the first thing that we need to add here in the question? Uh, let's see, Carlos, are Jenny tied? 
No, right? Because remember that R is for present, right? So, and now we're talking about past. What is going to be the verb to be in past? What is the verb to be in past? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. Let's see what they say here. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, in past, in past. What's the one for the negative, my friends? Yes. <gasps> Come on, people. We studied that last night, right? So what is the structure for the question in simple past? What is the auxiliary? What is the past of the bird to be? Uh-huh. Yeah. No sería eh, was do, do doesn't was yeah. time. No, it would be was. Was that's like the auxiliary, right? And what is next? Was was eh, doesn't does no. Uh huh. Mm. Que sigue después. What's next? Mm -hmm. eh, was do no remember do is that's, for present do oh. and does it's that's... for present it's for present and right now we are talking about past oh. mm -hmm. so this one right here is going to be was uh -huh. was okay. Jane, very good. Jane, tied it exactly. And then the question mark. All right, that's the structure. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, very good job. All right, so then, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see here. Uh, let's continue with the next one. The next one right here, I have here Sean didn't or did not work. What will be the positive or the affirmative? Yeah. What is going to be the affirmative here? Teacher. Uh huh. Sin was work. Sin. Which one? Was work. No. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh -huh. Teacher, what I diría was, wasn't or was not. No. Good. So remember, this is the verb here, work. Mm -hmm. Remember, when it is positive, we said it yesterday, my friends, right? When it's positiva, Working. what happens? Working. Mm, worked. Uh -huh, very good. So, San worked. That's work. it. Shane worked. That's it. All right. So remember, when you have this one right here, you have like, for example, you might say, you need teacher, hey teacher, why eh, here it was, y aquí no lleva was? Because remember, que ese es el pasado with the verb to be. El pasado del verb to be, which is, for example, if you want to say, um, let's see, eh, yo estaba cansado, which is what it says right here. O yo estaba contento, that's how you say it as well, all right? So, but in this case right here, let me show you quickly here. So, for example, remember, if I want to say in here, yo estaba cansado, yo estaba cansado. What is the verb in this sentence? What is esas tres palabras es el verbo? Which of those three words, it's the verb? Estaba. Estaba, exactly. Entonces, ese estaba, my friends, in English, which is like this one, Estaba, it would be the same as was or where, ¿verdad? Dependiendo del sujeto, depending on the subject, of course, right? Was or where. So that's the reason why here it's only this one, Jane was tired. But in the second one, it says here, Shen trabajó. What is the verb? Uh -huh. What uh -huh. is the verb? Trabajo. Trabajo, exactly. Entonces, am I going to use eh, was? Voy a usar was aquí. 
Am I going to use was? No. No, porque si usted usa was, because if you use was, quedaría así, ve. Sin estaba trabajó. And that's not correct. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, well. that's the... Ajá, exactly. Entonces aquí, so we don't say this one, so it's not Sean estaba trabajó, sino que solamente it would be eh, Sean trabajó, which is going to be this one we have right here. See, eh, Sean worked. And as a question, what would be that one as a question in here? Did Sean work? Exactly. Thank you very much. It would be like, did, did Sean, Sean work? work. Interrogation. Uh -huh, the question mark. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Then you go with the next one right here. In here, my friends, I have a question. Did I have a cut? What would be the positive? Hmm? What would be the positive in this case? I had a car. Uh -huh. I had a car. Uh -huh. How do you spell this one? Let's see. Ham. A car. Like, like this? Mm. Is it correct? No. What is, the, a car. what is the past of have? What is the past? What is the past of this word? Past. Uh -uh. That's present. Uh -huh. Had, exactly. Have. All right. So Excellent. it's this one. I had a Car. cut. Very good. Excellent. What will be the negative? Ooh. Hmm? What will be the negative, my friends? Uh, Cian did not. Car. Car. Deep. No, him has. Mm -hmm. So, sería, I did not have a cut. Cut. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much in this one. All right. So, now, let's see this one. On the next exercise, I have now here a negative sentence. It says, Mary did not sing. What is sing, people? What is sing? Cantar. Cantar. Very good. Thank you. All right. So what would be the affirmative or the positive? Hmm? What will be the positive here? So we have the negative. Mary did not sing. Affirmative. Mary, Mary is a uh, Mary is sing. No. Mm. In past. In past. Oh. Mary her. Uh, singer is cantante. Uh -huh. Song. Song. Very good. Excellent. Song. Song, song, song. All right. There you go. Mary sang. Uh, Mary cantó. Right. And what is the question structure here? Uh huh. What is the question structure? What is going to be first? Did she. Sing. She. Sing. Did Mary sing? Like that. Excellent. Thank you very much. And for the last exercise here, we have another question, which is, did she see us? Did she see us? So let's go for the affirmative. What is going to be the affirmative? Hmm? Uh -huh. What is going to be the affirmative then? Yep. Hello, hello. What is the subject? She is to see. She is to no. see. Remember, oh. we are not using verbs in present because this is past, right? So we don't use is, okay? So we have to use the past of the verbs. So in this case right here, what is the past of sing? I mean, of see. Mm -hmm. 
C, C, C. What is the past? So, very good. She saw? So. Us. Very good. Excellent. She saw us. Super nice. Super nice. And then we got the last one right here. What will be the negative? Mm -hmm. Mary didn't. She, Mary didn't. All right. Mary didn't. See or saw? See. Oh, saw us. Uh, see, see us. See. Very see. good. Excellent. Yes. Thank you very yes. much in this one right here. Okay. Now, my friends, before we finish this activity, excuse me, before we finish this activity here. Okay. So let's see. Let me just tell you this one. Okay. Just to have it clear. Okay. Just to clarify. When we have positive sentences, all right, in, in past, in past, when we have positive sentences, we are going to use the past of the verbs. So, for example, worked. This is the past. Have. This is the past. Sang. This is the verb in past. And so, this is the verb in past. For negative, in negative sentences, we are going to use the auxiliary did not or didn't, which is the same. And the verbs are going to be in base form. Present base form, base form, base form. The same as questions. In questions, we are going to start with did. Then we have base form, base form, did, 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 and then base form here. So we are going to use only the verbs in past in positive sentences, okay? So do you have questions? Mm -hmm. No, no question. questions? For me, no question. No questions for you. All right, no problem. Thank you very much. So let me clean the screen right here so we can continue with the next activity. Okay, let's see. Now, we are going to review a new topic tonight. It's related to simple past as well. And we are going to use the expression here, used to. Repeat it, used to. Used to. Repeat it. Exactly. You have to repeat. There you go. Used to. Thank you. Used to. Very good. Excellent. So I need a volunteer here that can help me with this paragraph. All right. So who can help me with these two sentences? Please help me reading. Who's going to be my volunteer? Just reading. Yep. Volunteer, teacher. volunteer. Yes. I am voluntary. I am voluntary teacher. Thank you, Enrique. Please continue. Go ahead. It is just uh, to script in action or a bit. That was common in the park, but not anymore. Not anymore. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Right. Now let's review the pronunciation of these words. Everybody, please repeat it with me. Describe. Repeat it. Describe. Describe. Very good. Then it this died. one right here. Have it. it. Have it. Very have good. It. And it. this one here. Past. 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 There you go. Excellent. So it is used to describe an action or a habit it. that was common in the past, but not anymore. Right? So something that it was very common for me in the past, but nowadays I don't do it anymore. That's the usage that we're going to give here, all right? So, for example, all right, it says right here, I used to be crazy about soda, but now I don't care for it. It says here, I used to be crazy about soda, but now I don't care for it. Hey, guys, can you tell me what do you understand in that example? How would you say that example in Spanish, for example? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. How would you say that one? I used to be crazy about soda, but now I don't care for it. Uh -huh. How would you translate that into Spanish? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. No, teacher. Yeah. How, how can you translate this sentence into Spanish? Me a volver loco por la soda, pero ahora ya no me importa. Exactly, all right, super nice. Very, very good job on that one, all right? Because used to, it means, as I was typing there on the chat, eh, yo solía, right? Solía, solía, that's what it means. And we are going to use the same structure with all the subjects. Eh, I, you, <coughs> A, etc. are going to use exactly the same um, structure. Subject plus I used to plus the verb in base form. And then we continue with the complement. So, for example, I used to be crazy about soda. Then we have this one. We used to travel to the United States every year when I was a child. Exactly. How do you say that in Spanish? Es, solíamos viajar a Estados Unidos cuando, todo, todos los años cuando yo era niño. Es un niño. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually a very good job as well. All right. Now, for example, if you want to ask, let's say, how do you say, eh, yo solía correr todos los días? Uh -huh. How do you say that? I, I used to every day. I used to? I used to every day. Y el verbo, my friend? What is the verb? I used to run. There you go. Just remember, you don't say you said. You said used. Let's see this one. This is the pronunciation. Oops, it says used. Like this one. Used. 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 Like that one. Used. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. So let's say this one. All right. How do you say, for example, yo solía manejar? How do you say that? Mm -hmm. I used to drive. Very good job. Excellent. I used to drive, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So that's basically the structure that we are going to use. Do you have questions about the affirmative sentences? For me, no question. No questions for you. Okay, excellent. Let's continue with the negatives, right? So the negatives right here, it says... For the negatives, we are going to use the auxiliary here, didn't, as you can see that, right? Didn't, didn't, and then use to. So for example, he used to play video games, now he does. He didn't use to play video games, now he does. All right, remember, if used to, in Spanish is solía, what is didn't used to in Spanish? Huh? What is didn't used to? No solía. No solía. Very good. Solía. Hello, Magdalena. All right. So, no solía. Very good. So, and then how would you translate then? He didn't used to play video games. Now he does. Apareció la Magdalena. <laughs> All right. How do you say Aquí that in estoy, Spanish? pero como no me escuchan. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh -huh. People, please pay attention. How do you say he didn't used to play video games? Now he does in Spanish. Uh -huh. No, that's not correct. 
ahora él no, ya no. Mm -mm. Lo hace, hoy él lo hace. Mm -hmm. Because it's negative. So it means like in the past, él no solía jugar videojuegos, ahora sí, for example. Ahora sí. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. All right. So, and then we have the second line right here. So we go like this one, seafood. All right. Hey guys, do you know the meaning of seafood? What is seafood? Mm -hmm. El no solía gustarle, no. No, seafood, it's just like this one. Seafood. Mariscos. Correct. Very good. So, I didn't used to like seafood, but now I do. So, how do you say that in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Yo no lo usé, pero hoy sí lo uso. No, 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 no. No solía gustarme la comida del mar. Ajá, no solía gustarme los mariscos, pero ahora, pero ahora sí. All right. Pero ahora sí. So, remember. Eh, used to no significa usar. ¿Qué significa used to? What's the meaning of used to? What is the meaning of used to? Solía. Solía, exactly. If it is solía in present, eh, no solía in negative. Eh, I mean, affirmative and negative. All right, so then, eh, questions at the moment? For me, no questions. No questions. Question. Okay, thank you very, good, very much. Uh, for this one, interrogative or the questions, 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 questions. So we are going to use this one, the auxiliary did, and it says here, did you use to prepare the dinner more often? And here's missing a question mark, all right? So did you use to prepare the dinner more often? How would you translate that sentence into Spanish? Mm-hmm. Do you use to prepare the dinner more often? How would you translate that into Spanish? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Preparaba la cena. Uh, yeah, that's correct. But how is the complete question? Remember, pero what ahora, is used to? Dice Dillo Ashworth. <laughs> Más a menudo. No. Oh my God, people. What is used to? Uh huh. One more time. Everybody, please pay attention. What is used to? What is Solía. used to? Solía. So, yeah. in a question, what would be the question here? Ellas preparar la cena más seguido. Exactly. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Yes, 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 yes. All right. And then we also have here the WH question, which is why. Hey, do you remember what is why? What is why? Por qué? There you go. And then we continue with the next with the next part of the question. Why do you use to smoke a lot? How would you translate that into Spanish? Porque eso Porque eso es. Porque solías fumar mucho. Very good, very good, very good. All right. Now, let's see. Everybody in the chat here in Zoom. All right. How do you say? Yo solía bailar. How do you say in, in English this one? Yo solía bailar. In the chat. Everybody write it. How do you say? Yo solía bailar. Mm -hmm. Use the chat. Use the chat. Use the chat. Type it. How do you say yo solía bailar in English? Uh -huh. Use the chat. I want to see it here. Everybody here. The chat in Zoom, please. Use the chat in Zoom and tell me, how do you say yo solía bailar? Please tell me. In the chat, people, no, I don't see you here. I used to dance. Very good, Ever. You got it. Uh -huh. What else? What else? What else? Magdalena, I used to dance. Amazing. Saul, I used to dance. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right. Uh, let's see this one right here. Thank you. All right. So how do you say? Yo no solía leer. How do you say that one? Yo no solía leer. Come on, you can do it. Let's see, let's see. Use the chat. Use the chat. All right. 
Yo no solía leer. Very good, very good, very good. Yeah, tell me. Uh -huh. Let me see the chat here. Okay, everybody connected. I used to read. No, Magdalena, because I'm saying yo no solía leer. The sentence you gave me is affirmative and I need negative. I didn't use to read ever. Good job, my friend. You did it good. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Uh -huh. Let's continue. Let's continue. Who else? Who else? Who else? Thank you. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Excellent. So let's see here. Now let's continue with this one. Solías ir a la playa? How do you say that in English? Solías ir a la playa? Yes, Thank I do. Thank you, Magdalena. That's correct one from the previous one. That's correct. Now, the new one. Solías ir a la playa? Let's do it. Let's do it. Typing, 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 typing. Very good. Solías ir a la playa? Solías ir a la playa? Uh, who can tell me that? Use the chat. Use the chat. Come on. You can do it. I used to go to the beach. All right. So, uh-uh. It's a question. It's a question. It's a question. It's a question. Uh -huh. Remember, it's a question. Solías ir a la playa? Mm -mm. Saúl, that would be el solía ir a la playa. Pero this one is a question. Solías ir a la playa? That's a question. Question. Remember? For questions, we have this structure here. The last one. Mm -hmm. Ese es, yo solía ir a la playa, David, all right? But as a question, like if I'm asking the question to somebody else, yo le quiero hacer la pregunta a alguien más. You used to go to the beach. Ese mm -hmm. es, tú solías ir a la playa. But it's a question. Solías ir a la playa? Question, question, question. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Remember, what is first in a question? What is first? Yeah? What is first? First, first in a question. Es una question. Yes, my friend. Did you use to to the beach? Oh, ever. Almost correct. But you don't have the verb there. What is the verb? Tell me, what is the verb? Did you use to the beach and the verb? Ir, where is it? Almost perfect ever. So let's see. Did you used to go to the beach? Excellent, my friend. You got it. That's the one. Thank you very much. Right? So you got the correct answer there. Did you used to go to the beach? All right. Excellent. So now that you have that, let's continue with the next activity here. Do you have questions? No question. No questions? For me, no question. Okay, no problem. Now, everybody, please eh, pay attention to the next activity that we have this one, all right? It is, okay, everybody, I need a volunteer for helping me reading the instruction. This instruction, the instruction, the instruction. Please. Hello? Right. Uh-huh, continue, continue. Hello, everybody, just one person for reading. Uh-huh. Okay, Enrique. Okay. Read. Please. Okay. Number one. Last month, I rode my bicycle to school. Mm -hmm. Now I don't ride my bicycle to school. Oh, okay. I you use... were helping me with the exercise number one. No problem. All right. So I... let's hit this one. I uh... used to ride my bicycle to school. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. That's the answer. Just my friend, remember here, this is going to be the verb ride. Repeat it. Ride. Why? Right, very good, excellent, thank you very much. So as you can see here, I have this expression, all right, and it says, last month I rode my bicycle to school. Now, 
I don't ride my bicycle to school. This one is going to be, I used to ride my bicycle to a school, right? Yo solía montar mi bicicleta a la escuela. Very good. So let's pay attention to this one right here. The next one. It Porque says, dicen a veces bike up, teacher. Excuse me? Hay gente que dice bike up. Mm, bike it's not correct. The correct Verde one is bike. Mm -hmm. Bike. Bike. Mm -hmm. This one, but no bike. It's just like, for example, some people who go to United States, this word, which is lunch, a veces la pronuncian como lonche, but that's not correct. The correct pronunciation is lunch. All right. So then they say this one. You can say bicycle or you can say bike, but no bike. All right. Questions? Pero es lo mismo que bicicleta. Yes, of course, it is. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, no problem. So let's see this one. Um, okay, it says right here, 10 years ago, I studied Japanese. Now I don't study Japanese. What will be here the correct answer, people? Uh -huh. What is going to be the correct answer here? Uh-huh. Hello, hello. I used to. I used to. Uh huh. Study. Study. Japanese. Japanese. Uh huh. That's it. I used to study Japanese. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. The next point, number three, it says before I didn't do exercise. Now I do exercise. What is the answer? Yep. Teacher. Yes. I do exercise. Mm -mm. Remember this is structure, my friend. I use it. I use it. Uh -huh. Yes. I so that will be? To, I use it to do exercise. Remember, it's not use it, it's used to. I used to do used to exercise. Do exercise. Excellent. There you go. Thank you very much. All right. What about this one right here? It says, last year, my classmates didn't study hard. Now, he studies hard. Mm -hmm. What's the correct answer here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, my friends. What is the subject? The subject is he, right? So? He didn't used to. Aha, uh -huh, exactly, right? He didn't used to. Aha. Uh -huh. Study hard. Study hard. Very good. Study hard. Excellent. There you go. He didn't used to study hard. Very good. Excellent. Then number five, it says, a long time ago, people didn't have electricity. Now, people have electricity. What is the correct answer? Mm -hmm. The subject in this one, it's people. So what will be the answer here? Hello, hello. Uh -huh. What's the answer, my friends? Peter Martinez. And what about you, Enrique? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What's the answer here? Yep. Remember, the subject, it's people, right? So, people. Uh-huh. People. people didn't you too. Uh, no. People didn't, didn't, didn't use, use to. to. Uh-huh. 
Uh, have what? Electricity. 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 All right. Very good job. At the end, you got it. All right. So, and then the last one, the last one, the last one oh, is right here. When I was John, I was lazy. What is lazy? Mm -hmm. Lazy. lazy. Okay. All right. All right. Excellent. Very lazy, Aragán, perezoso. Uh huh. So, what will be this one? Uh -huh. Yes. So, it says, like, in the past, I was lazy, but now, mm -mm, not anymore. Uh -huh. So, what's the last answer here, my friends? What is the subject? Mm -hmm. I didn't. No, I mean I yes, but not didn't because it's not negative. I was. I was. No, estamos con used to. I used to. Aha, uh -huh. I used to. Lazy. Used to be lazy. Right. Remember que el verbo to be is this one y el pasado es was. Right. So that's why we have be here. So I used to be lazy. That's it. Thank you very much. Remember, once again, el verbo to be, el pasado es was. I used, to be lazy. I used to be lazy. Thank you very much, my friends. Okay, very good. Excellent. And now, questions? For me, no question. No questions. Wow, very good. Excellent. Uh, before I continue, let me check attendance. Adán Iglesias? Adam, Adam. Present, present. Thank you. All right. Ellen Nilsson Rivera. No here. All right. Uh, Carlos Santos. Yes. And Carlos Cruz. Yes, I can see that. All right. Uh, David Rosales. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Edith Represa. Not here. All right. Edmundo Martinez. Not here. Enrique Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. All right. Oh, thank you, Renilson. All right. Is the what else? This one? Erika Guillen. Yes. All right. Ever. Present yes. teacher. Thank you. Franklin. Not here. Herbert. Mr. Oh, yeah, Present right. teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Benjamin. No. Juan Francisco. Yes. All right. Maria. Maria. Oh, Magdalena. Sorry. Magdalena. Yes. Monica. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Arias. Tengo problemas con el audio de la computadora. No Be problem. Be All right. Saúl. Yeah. Present, present, teacher. Saúl. And Will, uh, Wilber, excuse me. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. And let's Be continue present. with the next activity here. Teacher. Yes. Be who? Oh, yes, no problem. I got it here. Thank you. So let's see. Let's see. Thank you, my friends. Let's just continue with this one right here. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Oops. Let's go and read this. This paragraph right here, all right? With this paragraph, my friends, we are going to read. Pongamos la atención, lo vamos a ir leyendo y entendiendo, all right? So, para poder responder later these questions, okay? So, let's see here. 
Veamos, it says here, I was a young girl in the 60s. All right, so I was a young girl in the 60s. One second. In the 60s, Teacher, my friends me. and I used to do, yes? Uh, I don't listen to my, my name, Wilbert. Yeah, I already checked attendance, my friend. Yes, too. No problem. Thank you. All right. So it, it says right, right here. You. Please pay attention para que puedan entender de qué se trata el uh, eh, paragraph. Y podamos responder las questions later. Okay. Excuse me. All right. So it says, I was a young girl in the 60s. What is I was a young girl in the 60s? Hmm? Hello? Fui joven en los 60. Correct, all right? Una chica joven. Una chica joven says there. Right, my friends and I used to, ah, we have used to. My friends and I used to do a lot of things. Ah, mis amigos y yo. Nos solíamos. Uh, mm -hmm. Solíamos muchas cosas. hacer muchas cosas, which, las cuales sorprendían a nuestros padres, which shocked our parents. We used to do things, all right, our mother never did. Uh -huh. How do you translate this one? Solíamos hacer cosas que nuestras madres nunca hicieron. Very good, excellent, thank you. Ton of powers ever. All right, so then we cut our hair. We were... Uh -huh. Bailaba música de los de los de Elvis Presley y de los virus. Ah, ya se me adelantó like two lines, but that's true. <laughs> all right, so, eh, ajá, we dance to the music, all right. Miren, we oh. smoked and went dancing. What is it? Fumaban. Fumaban e iban a bailar. We also got the chance to see the Beatles live at a concert once. Vieron a los Beatles en un concierto once, all right. Then uh, you go on this one right here. It was amazing, says my father went fishing once a week. All right, guess fishing. Pescar. Pescar. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So, then, los padres pescaban el fin de semana. No, una vez a la semana. Una vez a la semana. Thank you, teacher. Very good. He always wished that I would accompany him, but fishing was not my cup of tea. Fíjate esa expresión. Was not my cup of tea. Repeat it, my friends. Was not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Was not my cup of tea. It means no era lo mío. No era lo mío. Uh -huh. There you go. And then continue this one. Instead, my friends and I went to for picnics in surrounding areas. My boyfriend had a car, a 64 Falcon, so he always picked us and often drove to Brighton. Siempre manejaban a Brighton. Um, we went to the pictures twice a week. Las pictures eran como las movies antes. And I love to watch films with Marlon Brandon and Elizabeth Taylor, especially to the reflections in a golden eye. I still love watch this film. It's my favorite. Okay, excellent. So, ¿entendimos las, eh, de qué se trata el párrafo? Yes? No, so. Okay, vamos a ver si podemos responder las answers. All right? So, let's see here. Aha, veamos. Aquí vamos a ver si es cierto, si es true, or si es false, all right? So, let's see. It says here, I used to do a lot of things which shock the parents. Yes or no? Hacía cosas que eh, sorprendían a sus padres. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yes, that's correct. It says this one. Used to cut uh, the hair. Yes. Yes, she said that. Used to wear long skirts. Usaba el pelo largo o corto, ¿cómo es? En el, en el, en where? Se cortaba el cabello. Se cortaba el cabello, la segunda, yes. La tercera, used to wear long skirts. 
¿Usted va a faldas no. largas? No. A las no. All right, so. ¿Used to sing Elvis Presley songs? Sí, sí. ¿Cantaba canciones de Elvis? Yes. 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 ¿Fue a ver a los Beatles in concert once? ¿Went to win the Beatles? Yes. 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 Eh, ¿Solía ir su, con su papá a pescar? Yes. yes. That's not no. true. No. All right, so, porque decía bueno, que no era su cosa, esos, right? Solía ir a... Ajá, uh -huh. and then you got this one. ¿Used to go for picnics with the friends? Yeah. Mm. Yes, that's right. Eh, with the boyfriend, you should drive to Brighton with her friends and boyfriend. Uh -huh. Solía manejar? Yes. Okay. Thank you. And the last one, yeah. it says right here, sure. used to go to the pictures. ¿Quieren las pictures? Las películas. Entonces, iba a las películas, yes or no? Yes. yes. Yes, correct. All right. Yeah. And then you got this one. Used yes, to watch yeah. films with Marlon yeah. Brandon yeah. and Elizabeth yeah. Taylor. Marlon Brandon. Yeah. Yay, exactly. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. So let's see this one right here. Excellent. So, okay, everybody, do you have questions about this activity? No, no question. No question. Vocabulary? No. For me, no question. You sure? No questions? No vocabulary? <laughs> what was it? Yes, understand. Okay, excellent. So, uh, let's see if it is true. All right, so how do you say yo solía ir a la fiesta? Hmm? I used to go I used to go party. to the party. Very good. How do you say yo no solía tomar soda. Mm -hmm. How do you say that one? Yo solía tomar soda. Yes. How do you say that? To drink soda. I used to drink soda. Uh -huh. All right, excellent. So, well, everybody, we are going to stop right here so you can go to rest. Remember to do uh, the activities on the platform, section one and section two, okay, on the platform. So, and I will see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Have a good night. Okay, teacher, good job. Good night, good night, good night. Take care. Good night, sir. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Happy weekend. Have a nice weekend. Take care. <laughs> Have a nice Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday promotions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>